Good morning, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. And hello from Disney's Contemporary Resort. We are here this morning not for the Destination D fan event, but we finally get to try Steakhouse 71 for breakfast. Now, a few months ago, we got a special preview here at Steakhouse 71 for lunch, and I just fell in love with this restaurant. I love the food. I love the atmosphere. I love the service. Love the location. I just really love Steakhouse 71. And after I give you guys a full dining review, we're going to hop on a monorail and head to the Magic Kingdom Resorts to check out the Christmas decor, especially over at the Grand Floridian with the famous gingerbread house. We are very excited about that. So let's not waste any time. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. Up on the housetop, reindeer paws. Out jumps good old Santa Claus. Down through the I like the simple classy look of the Christmas decor here inside of the main lobby. And here we are. We just checked in here at Steakhouse 71. We're just waiting for our text to be seated. Okay, we got our text message that our table is ready, so we just got seated. We're actually sitting here in the main dining area this time. Here's the QR code if you guys want to scan the QR code with your phone to check out the menu. Something to note, for breakfast, they offer bottomless mimosas. And the refillable mimosas are $19, which isn't that bad. Also, this bourbon cold brew sounds really good. As I was looking at the menu, I wanted to point out they have a ton of allergy-friendly appetizers and entrees. Here's a look at the entrees. I mean, look at that. Bianca ordered a cappuccino and a ice water. I got coffee and OJ. Our server brought us out some butter, some ketchup, and look at these cute little tiny jams. We have strawberry and grape. This restaurant used to be The Wave, which was a fan favorite restaurant. I loved coming here to The Wave for breakfast, and that's another reason why I really wanted to come here to Steakhouse 71 to experience breakfast, just because like this restaurant still feels like The Wave, but just in a different way. And I love the story of Steakhouse 71 and how it ties directly into the anniversary of Magic Kingdom and the contemporary and the history and the nature of it. And something else that I really appreciate about Steakhouse 71 is the prices are very affordable, just like the wave used to be. You know, coming to Disney World is already expensive enough, so it's nice that you can come here and have a very nice breakfast at a very affordable price. Oh my goodness, our food has arrived. We got three entrees, that way we can try a little bit of everything. We got steak and eggs, which looks amazing. And then look at the seasonal pancakes, which are pumpkin spice pancakes with like a bourbon drizzle. And then we got a Western omelet. Everything looks amazing. That is like IG worthy right there. All right, let's give them a try. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the pumpkin pancakes. My mind's blown. Can we take another one, please? Well, we just finished up with our breakfast here at Steakhouse 71. And um, I'm not gonna lie. This is my new favorite place to eat breakfast here on property, here at the Walt Disney World Resort. It's amazing, the service is great. The food is great. It's very affordable, like I said. The atmosphere is great. It steps away from the Magic Kingdom, so if you're in the Magic Kingdom for your park day, if you want breakfast, lunch, or dinner, just take the walkway right here, take the monorail here, and enjoy Steakhouse 71 because Disney. I haven't been too happy with them lately just based on their decision making, but their choice of transforming the wave into what we have now, which is Steakhouse 71. They did a fantastic job. Please, if you guys need breakfast, come here. You will not be disappointed. I already can't wait to come back. I've already had lunch twice, which was great. We still need to come back for dinner, which we will do very, very soon. Hands down, my favorite thing I had today was the seasonal pancakes, which were the pumpkin spice pancakes. They were just delicious. They did not taste artificial at all. It was just like a real natural pumpkin spice flavor. And the candy pecans on top, and then you had the bourbon drizzle. Just come here and get that. Please, do yourselves a favor. Also, the orange juice, that was like pure OJ. Like it was really, really good. The coffee was great. The steak and eggs, I really enjoyed. The potatoes were great. 
the scrambled eggs were great. The Western omelet, I didn't really care for it, but I know Bianca really liked it. I'm just never really been a big fan of omelets, but everything was just amazing here. Like I mentioned earlier, this is my first time sitting inside of the main dining area, which we were sitting right over here. Hello guys, happy holidays. <laughs> The last few times we were here, I sat right here, which was really nice because it was a little more quiet. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> also here at Steakhouse 71, you can find a really nice fancy bar and a lounge area. So before we leave, I just wanna go over our tab really quick because it's very affordable. Everything we got was just about $80 before our AP discount. And then after our AP discount, it was about $75. So. That's not bad at all for three entrees, a cappuccino, a coffee, and orange juice. All right, now that breakfast is all over, let's head upstairs, let's check out the contemporary Christmas decorations, and then hop on a monorail and uh, go see the other few resorts that we have around the Magic Kingdom monorail loop. This weekend is Destination D23, which is a fan Disney event. I decided not to purchase tickets just because I didn't really need to go, I guess. Little jealous, I can't go shopping in Mickey's of Glendale, but it's here. Well, I'm not seeing any of the gingerbread decor here inside of the contemporary. Maybe it's because of the D23 event. I don't know, usually it's up by now. Interesting. Let's quickly stop inside BVG. They do have the yearly gingerbread collection pins for the contemporary with Cinderella. Make it merry and bright. And then here's another one. This one's pretty cool. But they do have Christmas treats. Look at this Santa hat Mickey Rice Krispie. Look at the Christmas tree cupcake. I like that a lot. That's cute. They have a sugar cookie and a mini Rice Krispie. Yum. Check out this contemporary dress. There's a lot going on. I like the logo right there. $108. Also, look at this contemporary button-up. This kind of looks like what the cast members wear here. This one is $85. We're in line to hop on a monorail, but I wanted to quickly show you guys a quick look from the outside of the new incredible themed rooms here at the contemporary. There's Jack Jack right there. I haven't been inside of these rooms just yet, but honestly, I haven't heard that many great things about these rooms. But one day soon, we'll come back and have a staycation to check them out for ourselves. Bianca had brought up the idea to head inside of the Magic Kingdom just to go look at Main Street, but look at the reservations for pass holders this week. And the 24th and the 27th, the only park that's available is Epcot. It's busy. It's a busy, busy Thanksgiving week. We just made it here to Disney's Polynesian Resort and look at this. The new monorail station is all done. It looks great. I mean, it looks pretty much the same, but it looks great. I mean, yeah, it's new. We already have the Polynesian themed Christmas wreaths. And we're heading in now. I'm glad this is open, finally. Look at the seasonal cupcake. It's a turkey for Thanksgiving. Man, all of this bacon looks amazing. <laughs> and then, yes, I love these as a treat. You know, you wouldn't think chocolate and bacon goes well together, but it really does. All kinds of chocolate covered strawberries, but it's a gobbler cupcake. <laughs> Babe, I think I just found our Christmas tree theme for the year it's like a it's like a Polynesian beach fish themed Christmas tree I like the colors on it very nice okay the Christmas tree is here I just couldn't see it from the angle that I was in upstairs but here it is so festive so tropical I like the wooden fish you can see throughout the Christmas tree here there's pineapples. I also really like the plumerias throughout the Christmas tree. Ooh, they have the Honolulu Cookie Company shortbread cookies, but Christmas themed. These are so good. Ooh, they have them in the pineapple case. I also like the garland throughout the main lobby here. <laughs> These are awesome. Kind of want to buy one and just have it 
on my Christmas tree at home just because it's from the Polynesian. All right, there wasn't really too much here at the Polynesian, so we're just gonna go ahead and hop back on the monorail and head over to Disney's Grand Floridian to look at the famous gingerbread house. Here's a little bit of a better view at the new monorail station here at the Polynesian. It's a little wider. And of course you have some new details, but other than that, it's pretty much the same, just newer. And here's our ride. Monorail. Ooh, I knew he was gonna do that. He looked right in the camera and smiled. And here we are at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort. Look at that Christmas tree. And there's the gingerbread house. It's back this year. Last year, we only got a small replica. This year, the full scale is back. Before we head downstairs, I just wanted to show you guys the top of the gingerbread house. This thing is completely made out of gingerbread, chocolate, sugar. I'll show you guys all of the ingredients once we make it down there. And here's another angle of the Christmas tree. It smells so good down here. Here's the gingerbread house, the construction and decorating. It's open daily from 9.30 a.m. to 9 o'clock p.m. Yeah, there's a lot of details here. So much to look at. There's Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, and Piglet up there. Santa. Mickey and Minnie. So Princess Tiana and Naveen. So many chocolate reefs on the house. There's like an entire village right here. Dang. I like how it looks gold because of the 50th anniversary with the gold trimmings and colors throughout. It's a very nice touch. Gold ribbon. Even down here, there's just so much to look at. Here's a look at all of the different ingredients. 35 pounds of spices, 800 pounds of flour, 700 pounds of chocolate. A lot went into this masterpiece here. Oh yeah, look at that. The 50th anniversary medallion is right there by checkout. Here's a quick look at their menu. Of course, my favorite thing to get is the gingerbread cookie man. They also have vegan and gluten friendly offerings. Looks like a thin mint cookie and a gingerbread man. Brownie tree pop, a gingerbread spice caramel corn. You can get gingerbread cookies. And of course the signature gingerbread house for $80 lots to choose from now keep in mind this is like an actual working gingerbread house because there's a little quick service window where you can buy christmas treats from so you can't come here to the grand floridian and look at the gingerbread house and not hop in line to get some christmas goodies there's a little bit of a closer look oh there's bambi and thumper olaf and Anna, there's the signature gingerbread house you can buy for $80. It looks just like this gingerbread house with the 50th anniversary medallion right there. That's fun. Here's the snowman donut. That's cute. The ginger snap cookie. 50th anniversary snow globe cookie. And a gingerbread, what's that? Spice caramel corn. You can kind of see this with a 50th gingerbread cookie. Oh yeah. That's pretty. Look at the cast members putting the gingerbread house together. I read somewhere it takes about two months to get this together. Check out the shingles. I just want to bite one because <laughs> they look that good. I think you can actually buy a gingerbread shingle if I'm not mistaken. And yes, you can buy a gingerbread shingle. We just placed our order and here's a very quick look inside of the gingerbread house. This is so cool. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. My mind's blown once again. Every single year I see this, my mind is just blown. I mean, this is so cool and so unique that this is offered here at the Grand Floridian. I decided to get one of my favorite things to get every single year, which is the gingerbread man cookie. And then this is new this year, a snowman donut. It is kind of small, but very clever and cute. Can't wait to try it. This smells so good. It smells like Christmas. Not my gumdrop buttons. I wish there was gumdrop buttons on this guy, but it's just frosting. I'm gonna bite his head off. This was very good. It tastes like the gingerbread man that I get every single year. It is a thicker gingerbread. I'm gonna save this for later because it is pretty heavy. Yeah, she's pretty thick. Look at that. It's really good though. And here's my snowman donut. 
I believe it's a cake donut. Let's find out. This is pretty good. I can't really tell if it's supposed to be like gingerbread or pumpkin. You can definitely taste the chocolate chips in there. It kind of tastes like a chocolate chip cookie. I read the ingredients. There's pumpkin in it. There's chocolate in it. I don't see anything about gingerbread. I do like the gingerbread man cookie better than the donuts. I couldn't resist. I mean, he's kind of cute, right? Just had to get them. The biggest thing to note here is everything is free. All of this that I'm doing today is free besides, of course, when you purchase something or like our breakfast at Steakhouse 71. There's no cost to just hop on the Magic Kingdom monorail and come resort hopping and see the different Christmas decorations and coming here to the Grand Floridian to check out the gingerbread house. I mean, just something else to do if you guys want to avoid the parks or if you guys don't want to buy like another park day ticket or if you are like flying out in the afternoon or evening, come do this in the morning time. It's very nice. You can go over to Wilderness Lodge to check out their Christmas display, but we have something coming up where I'm gonna save that for that video, but that's just something else to do and keep in mind. Out of all of the announcements that we got from Disney this weekend, I still haven't heard anything regarding Bibbidi Boppity Boutique. They're still closed. Check out the Grand Floridian holiday pins. This one is Aurora bringing in the Mary. I totally forgot to see the Polynesians pins. There's the Magic Kingdom. We couldn't find reservations to go inside of the park today. It is also Dapper Day. Goodbye Magic Kingdom. It actually doesn't look too busy today. I don't know but we'll be back soon. All right, my friends, that's gonna do it for today's video in front of the giant Christmas tree in front of Disney's Contemporary Resort. Another very fun day back at Walt Disney World. I loved Steakhouse 71 for breakfast. I liked it more than lunch. We still need to go have dinner. As far as Destination D, the fan event that's going on this weekend, I really didn't feel like I needed to go just because I knew we weren't going to get any like big crazy announcements at the event. I was a little disappointed, but I kind of knew we weren't going to get anything like big. And like our CEO couldn't even show up to this event. So I'm kind of relieved I didn't go, but D23, I will definitely be there because I've never been to a D23 event and that's where the big exciting announcements will happen at. And it was just really nice hopping on the monorail and going to the Magic Kingdom resorts for Christmas to check out the Christmas decorations and of course head over to the Grand Floridian to enjoy the beautiful gingerbread house. I'm glad that is back this year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming. This video is sponsored by Mickey Travels. If you're looking to book your next Disney vacation, go get your free quote today from mickeytravels.com as they never charge you anything to book your next Disney vacation. And they are one of the select few travel agencies in the world that are platinum earmarked by Disney themselves. Go visit my friends down in the description and click on the link for your next Disney vacation. I am feeling lonely and I want to make it time to end the ride. They need to slowly over those can lift me up this time You were the only one who got me tripping up inside